a bit skinny, isn't he, Harry? He's lost condition on the voyage, Jack. Harry's only come from New Zealand. Well, he's just a cult. Why's he got all those warts? Well, you don't buy horses just for their looks. If you don't know the story of Farlap, you're in for a treat. You've probably heard that he was one of the best racehorses that ever lived. You might have even seen the horse himself, preserved forever in the Melbourne Museum. But the story of Farlap is a true epic, one that spans generations. Australia loves a national sporting hero. And in the depression of the 1930s, they needed a hero like Farlap more than ever. The story of Australia's most famous racehorse is brought to glamorous life in this 1984 film that, at the time, ranked as the second highest grossing Australian film of all time, behind only that other famous horse flick, The Man from Snowy River. Farlap walks a fine line between glorifying and demonising, and this keeps the movie feeling relevant. Like all good underdogs, Farlap came from small beginnings. His owner didn't believe in him, and he was leased out to a trainer who saw something in him. We get a brief, if a little forced, origin story, and then we're off to the races. The movie moves fast, and soon we see just how big of a deal this horse was to the Australian public in the 20s and 30s. Farlap was a phenomenon. And the film doesn't go too deeply into the conspiracy theories behind his death that suggested he was poisoned for how bad he was for the bookies. Although in this rare instance, those conspiracies turned out to be true, as later tests revealed he had indeed ingested arsenic, like a plot out of a cheap crime movie. If you don't know the story, you're in for a grand emotional roller coaster. It's one of those stories that would be completely unbelievable if it wasn't true. Farlap is one of our biggest icons, and this movie ensures his legacy. Yeah. <laughs>